Yeah, hi guys, just doing a bit of um, researching there, and um, yeah, just when you, you hear those people that pop up every now and then, and they're like, oh, King James was a Freemason, so the Bible's all false, um, and that's it, that's the thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a, it's a bit annoying, well, firstly, King James didn't write the Bible, he subbed it out to these guys. Um, Alright, so they, these are all universities, you've probably heard of them, Oxford, Cambridge, Westminster, right, and all these guys, and there's 48 guys, right, and they all had to agree on everything, and um, they were all, like, proper scholars, a lot smarter than somebody that says uh, the King James Bible was written by a Freemason. So, um, yeah, I was just looking along here. So, the, the, most of you should know about Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes celebrated in America, and it's um, a, a group of Catholics got together and tried to kill King James. Not the first time, right? They tried to blow him up. Um, and I'll just read this one here. After the gunpowder plot, King James sanctioned a harsh measures to control the English Catholics. In May 1606, Parliament passed the uh, Popish whatever Act, which could require any citizen to take an oath of allegiance, denying the Pope's authority over the King. <clears throat> All right. So when the Pope continually tries to kill you, you you're just not gonna uh, like him very much. So uh, is it just good reading here. If you I oh, never look on King James, and if you're not trying to prove the Bible false, it won't help any, <laughs> so yeah, have a squeeze through there, and it just shows how he's trying to stop all the wars, and everyone else wanted wars, especially all these Catholics and all that, so, um, and so, so when, they're, when they're saying, like, oh, King James is a Jesuit, or, or a Freemason, and that just proves that he's, um, that the Bible's false, or whatever, or it proves whatever, all you're saying is he's a Catholic, right? The, the, they were all Catholics back in that time. So you got Freemasons, right? Catholic. Nowadays, they're trying, you'll see here, the, the Vatican's trying to distance themselves from Freemasons because Freemasons are supposed to be secret. That's their little party rooms. They go down in their dirty little rooms and they do their stuff, and you're not supposed to know about them. Like the Jesuits <coughs> are their SS, right? That's their, uh, their SS army, their secret service. But they're also tools and they're used to modify um, whole continents and countries and whatever to turn towards Rome, right? That's their goal, is all things must submit to Rome, right? And then you've got the Vatican, right? And and the main Catholic thing. So they're, all of these groups are Catholics, right? Nothing nothing different about them there's just you know catholics right so it just saying the bible's false because the catholic wrote it <laughs> is wrong for a start but uh, uh but yeah I'm, I'm inclined not to read a bible written by a catholic but king james didn't write the king james bible obviously all right so saying that it's false because he wrote it is, is just dumbass so, um, yeah, I encourage you to have a read through there. It's pretty interesting, his, his life and what he went through. A um, bit of turmoil, and you imagine putting up with the Catholic Church back in those days. They, they burn you <laughs> as soon as they look at you. They, they don't, didn't care about you. You're either worth something to them or nothing. Um, so, um, yeah, just something to think about. All right, God bless, guys.